Uh, my name is Eric Asen. I am a political science and economics major here. And my two cases that I did were student life and alumni. And so my main approach um, in tackling these two topics was to first um, go back and look at all the resources that we um, studied earlier and pick out the pieces of information that were most relevant to these two topics. And once I did that, um, I tried to string together a narrative based on what most stood out to me. Something that really um, seemed to catch my eye or there, there was some sort of big theme, um, and that's what I wanted to talk about. So for student life, the thing I noticed the most about um, that history was how the social standards for um, students at college during, in Nashville really changed from the early days of college to the late uh, 19th century. So my main approach um, in tackling these two topics was to first go back to all the resource materials we had studied and piece out the types of information relevant to alumni and student life. And once I reflected on those two things, I really wanted to see if there were any patterns or big themes that stuck out um, for the types of topics I want to talk about. So for student life, the thing that stood out the most to me um, was how the social standards changed um, over time. So in the early days of the college, students really weren't allowed many freedoms. They had very tight schedules. They weren't even allowed to play cards. Um, but towards after the Civil War in the late 19th century, um, women were allowed into college, both sexes were allowed to compete in athletics, um, and students were allowed a lot more freedom. So that's something I really decided to focus on um, in my case here. And as far as what I learned from this whole experience, I definitely learned a lot about alumni and student life, but I also learned about how difficult it was for um, colleges, especially in Nashville, to um, stay afloat. Um, it was, the University of Nashville was, was constantly at risk um, um, by things such as disease, by Native American raids, and even war really um, risked the, the, uh, the university's survival. Um, so I definitely uh, received a greater appreciation for um, higher education during these early days. Um, but as far as my time as a fellow, I really learned something interesting, um, most notably how to basically take an object and study its history and extract a story from it and be able to integrate that with the overall um, historical topic as a whole. So that was a skill set that I thought was very interesting and unique. Um, and I was very surprised too by just how much detail and work goes into creating um, a case like this um, and the work of librarians as a whole because there are really just so uh, many resources and so much history to choose from and it's pretty difficult to pick the pieces that make the most sense and to kind of create an overall historical narrative. Um, so those are the things I think I got most out of my experience as a Buchanan Fellow.